get your students ready to use spreadsheets. Here are a few basic Google Sheets essentials. Students should be able to make the columns wider and the rows taller or smaller. So you go in between the column indicators. Notice when I get in between the C and the D that my cursor changes or between the E and the F. And if I just click and hold down, I can drag and make the column skinnier or I can click and make the column wider. Same for rows. Go in between the row indicators, make it taller or skinnier. Now here's a trick. If you select multiple columns at once and you resize one column, they all resize the same. Same for the rows. Highlight some row indicators, resize one row, and they all resize. Another essential tip is to be able to set the word wrap. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So what you'll notice that happens is that it spills over into the next cells. But if I type something in this cell, it gets truncated. So what I wanna do is click on the cells, and I like to say middle, middle, middle. So when I come up here, I know how to center. That's an obvious icon. So I wanna maybe center, but I also wanna center vertically. So if I go to this middle option, I can center it, I can center it vertically. And then I wanna make sure that I know how to set word wrap. So I go here to the third option and choose wrap, and it wraps the text into the cell. I might wanna make it a little wider to give a little more room or a little bit less. The other thing you wanna do is have students create headers. So you might say first name, last name, email address, where you label what's going to go in each column. Make these a little wider. And then we want students to be able to freeze the first row because notice what happens when I scroll, I lose those column headers. So if they come over to what we call the awesome box up here in the corner, notice that when I come down just a few pixels, it changes from an arrow into a hand. Click, hold down, and pull down to freeze that first row so that when I scroll, that first row is frozen. You can also do view, freeze, and freeze the number of rows that you want to using the menu. So students should be able to make columns wider and skinnier, rows taller, set word wrap, do column headers, and freeze the first row. And the other skill that I think is really essential is being able to merge. So if you just select a bunch of cells, when you look up in the toolbar, you'll see it looks like a box with two arrows smashing together. If you click that, it becomes one giant cell. So if I type in here, it's going to put it in that bottom corner. So again, I wanna be able to middle, middle, middle to set the text. I could also make it a larger font and change the font. And that students are able to make a large box so they can write a paragraph or a few sentences or explain what's going on in their spreadsheet. So those are the essentials. Get your students started using spreadsheets.